Maybe I should leave the lights on you, man. You look pretty good like that. Yeah, more decorative. Nice. Don't put those around me. You think I have a Christmas tree? Look at yourself. Today we're looking at a button shop. How you like them buns, huh? Hey man, you guys are the ones that requested deer to come back. What's up, deer man? Looking a little bit dead over there. Just like you, Scotty. Just like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can, I'll let you give a little bit of a review for this. A lot of you miss deer. A lot of you hate deer. Whatever works, man. Deer, we're doing this together. I cannot wait to review the set with you. Yeah. Chris, that's what you get for leaving me hanging here all by myself, controlling all the cameras, making sure everything is recording. Boy, I hope I have audio for this. Yo, yeah, what's up all my Brick fans and Afro fans, AFOB fans, whatever fan you are, if you're just a fan of bricks and plastic toys, welcome! You're watching Brick Me Up Scotty, I'm Scotty Hoy. This is Beam! What are we looking at today? Another Kata set. Man, Kata's on a roll! What you're looking at is from Kata, Kata, the Japanese steam bun shop. C66006, 1108 pieces. Yo, I know a lot of you guys or a lot of my fans on the channel love the symbol block Japanese dolls. Always asking me, when's the next one coming out? Any more Japanese themed stuff? I'm like, no, nah, man, I haven't heard anything. And then this came out and I'm like, yo, this is perfect. Now, before I dive into the set really quickly, I got to tell you a crazy backstory, all right? Back, way back then, I did the Urge review. It's like the very first modular from them. I was like, so excited. Like, yes, man, something original. Unfortunately, that wasn't original. It was a stolen design. Like. Hell no! Anyway, somehow I found a designer and we both kept in touch. And he's super, super dope, super cool dude. He went on to do some Lego ideas for SpongeBob, which you guys, I think a lot of you supported. I think it even got, a, like it went to the next round, but it just didn't get approved. And go check out his Facebook. I put his Instagram, Facebook and all that. Go follow him. He's got some amazing designs, amazing builds. This is from him, man. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm like, we've been talking a lot. So if you guys have any feedbacks or any questions, throw them in the comment, I'll let them know. I'll ask him, but this is his baby that was authorized by Kata. Let me just slide the box out so you can see how nice this box is. It is a very pretty box. Unfortunately, this is not my box. This is gonna go to an order. So it's all taped up very nicely. If you guys wanna order it with the box, you can. There are a lot of people that order this one. It's not too big. So I do have to like kind of customize this box a little bit and but there are like some creases and little damages but what a beautiful presentation there it is designer by tong xin jun jun tong it's called tong or exe sandbox Ooh, nice i love the blue and look of it and as soon as i posted this on instagram everybody was like i want to buy it i want to buy it so this is actually selling pretty nicely right now so so we're gonna order this from us yes plenty in stock a lot of it is still in the warehouse in China too. Lots of delays trying to get those sets over, but we do have them, look. Wow, all right. The instructions just as beautiful. There is a QR code right there. So Kata is actually pretty good about putting their manuals online. So if you want to do your own bricks, or you're like, no, I don't want to buy this one, go there. At the back of the book is like that with their website. Kata or Double Ego, whatever you call yourselves, please do more buildings. We need more buildings. Yes. And if I just flip it to one page here to show ya. Ooh, I like the colors. Kata bricks, their own bricks. Super easy to read. There is a sticker sheet. Where's my stickers, huh? We need some dare stickers up in here. Yeah, unfortunately there's a lot of stickers. They look nice though. I can't remember the stickers were like slightly bigger than the tiles. I think most of them were pretty okay. There you go. Big sticker sheet, unfortunately. I wish it was printed, but damn. Let's just look at the set. Right away, the thing looks so good. So, oh, I love it, man. The design, the concept, the look, it's just very Japanese, very modern, very refreshing to build, a lot of fun. But there is one thing that is a little bit unfortunate. It's a little bit on the smaller side. It's not quite to minifigure scale. Now pull out a couple other sets and the figures so you can see the comparison. I just wish it was bigger, man, or more full size. But there's a lot of you that don't have space. This is perfect. No, seriously, if you put this like on a white shelf, white background, you have the whole Marie Kondo. This one sparks joy. I'll spin it for you one time and be like, yo, whoa. 
details. This actually kind of reminds me of one of the Royal Toy set that I reviewed. Put it right here, link in the description too. It reminds me of the pawn shop. Pawn shop is a little bit more ghetto as far as build goes, but it's kind of the same idea where it's like skinny and tall. It is all tiled on the front. Yes, thank you very much. There's a couple stools there for your figures to sit down and chill and have some steam buns. Oh yeah. I guess if I had to nitpick, it's like, oh, it's all stickers, man. Damn it, I wish it was printed everywhere. There's a sign down there for some steam buns. And even in the front, I like the stop sign. Or no parking, no parking sign there. And you got that little rail, which is a nice touch. And the tree, that tree is actually pretty cool, using a car rim. The counter idea is good. I love how it kind of comes out. We're starting to see that more in like these Japanese type theme sets. Everything fitted really nicely. So all the signs are pretty much almost the same. The flaps say handmade, I think, handmade buns. And steam bakery on the white sign right in the middle there. Now coming onto the side here, got a lot of little details there, a little trash can. Yeah, you see the hole in that trash can? That's because the set actually comes with a USB light. This is the same light in all the recent Kata sets that you have seen in my videos. I did not put the lighting kit on this set because it is gonna travel through everywhere. <laughs> if I have time in this video, I'll try to stick it in and shove it in, let you guys see what it looks like. But I don't like wires going through the set. The bonus thing, you know? So anyway, that's why there's a hole in that trash can because the light goes through there and it'll travel along the inside. And then you got this vending machine. The, the vending machine was actually really fun to put together. There are a lot of stickers. And what's interesting is it's all hollow on the inside. You put the drinks and the, they all slide in. Right now like this, I can't take the machine out to show you guys because it's part of the wall of structure itself. But it's a neat little feature. I'll see if I can pull those out later. Oh, it's Scotty. What kind of drinks do they got there? They have some Coca-Cola. Some Sprite, orange juice. Nah, man, it's only Fiji water. We gotta drink more water, man. Gotta stay healthy. Screw that, man. I've been drinking water from rivers for all my life. I deserve a soda. And I like the little awning above it, the blue there. And it even has an aircon, which is really nice. And just down here, there's like a studded area. I guess you can put your figures there if they wanna buy some drinks. You know, the only thing I felt missing was a little bicycle, or a little scooter to go with the set. Would have been perfect. Here's the bottom half of the back, just to show you. Staircase there that goes up to the second floor. And on this side, is like a little flap there. And it kind of can go in and out. But there's a very cool feature here. The whole back swings open. And I love the design and the feel. I was like smiling, putting that pot on together. And look at all the detail, the pipes or the ventilation here. That is so super cool, man. Looks like it's upside down. Got another air conditioning unit there. Another pipe going along here, dude. I love the pipe and the look of that. That's really neat. And some windows here. Oh, look at this telephone pole. It does have these plastic pipes that comes into the house. You might want to actually snip those a little bit, cut them so that it doesn't push the pole a little bit more. I'm, I'm sure you can adjust that a little bit better. The electric pole is such a nice touch. We kind of saw that in the Naruto set. I certainly hope that they kind of add those to buildings more in the future instead of a light pole. That is a great addition there. We'll come back to here just to show you this side of the wall. Nothing really there. One window. Look, a bunch of Technic pieces there. What's that for, Tong? You're gonna add that on to something else? You're gonna make me buy more stuff? I'll make all you guys buy the stuff. Okay, I'll swing it back to the front here, and let's just look at the upper levels of these floors. You know, I think my favorite part about this whole build was like the decoration here. It's like wooded up, right? Oh, it's actually fun to snap those in there, and I'm like, whoa, that gives off a totally different vibe I have not quite seen before. And it's on both sides there. Along the top here, you got some greeneries. I think I put those all together, right? can probably add more flowers or, you know, make it more like a vine right there. And there's a little window or decoration piece right there. Above the decorations, you got these tiny, tiny little windows. I guess that's like a Japanese thing, right? They kind of do that out there. Someone asked the XE Sandbox on my Instagram, it's like based on a real building, but it wasn't. It was just like all him, his idea, his sketch. And I'll put a link in the description to the Kata official store too, because there is a little description there about him as a designer. Go support the designers, man. You don't have to suffer with Big L, man join the other team. So on the top, it's very simple. You got a sunroof and a couple pipes there. That's about it. Was there anything complex about the build? Not that I can remember. I just remember that when you're building the walls because everything structurally comes together. I kind of wish it was more modular, like you can take the floors off. But some of the pieces I remember, like you had to kind of push down, pieces might fly off. Just be patient when you're building it. But yeah, I kind of wish there was a little bit more freedom or more just bigger, man. Get your hand in there. 
So it is a little bit tight, but I think a lot of you will still appreciate this. Now we're gonna open this sucker up. There are a couple studs being used to hold it closed. When you open it, you have to be careful with the flap. It kind of wants just to like catch on the thing. And the other thing too is this wall itself, once it's open, it's probably the most flimsiest part. There's not much holding it together, right? So I'm gonna try to open it now like this. So it's like, you can see it kind of catch, caught onto this flat part here. If I open it and go, wee, yo. Oh, that's so smooth, man. So good, but oh yeah, you see the bottom? It kind of wants to pop off. And the, 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 the flap got caught. Yo, that's like a little nitpicking thing, you see? There's, because of the, there's nothing here, there's no door, catches right there. And you just gotta kind of push up. But that is a really genius idea. I love how he used Technic pieces to lock everything in and it swings and opens just fine. It's just, this is probably the weakest structural part of this set. So now this is the only way to look on the inside. And since it's so skinny, there's not a lot of room inside. There's some steps that go up into the counter area and it's a little bit high in there. There are some detailed stuff in there. There's like the steam bun baskets and the gas canister on one side. And it looks like bowls and maybe containers on, and a small table on the other side. So you can already kind of see from this angle, it's really tight to get in there. You can get a figure inside for sure. Along the top, are the little tiny holes and that's where the USB goes through. It feeds through there and goes to the one by the staircase and it goes up into the staircase. On the second floor, I'm just realizing I was supposed to have like one more white pillar that goes here. I was wondering how come I have this extra piece for it? Oh man, kind of gave me an extra piece. I gotta find that and put it back in there. You'll see it in the close up. It's just like an extra structure to hold this part up. I don't even know where I put my spares and I gotta go find them. Scotty, you're embarrassing me again. How can you not know that there's a piece that goes there? I guess you got way too excited when you built this thing. You suck at building. Anyway, on the second floor, we're looking at an apartment. Oh, it's nice and small, but I like the fact that it is all tiled inside. When you come up the stairs, there is a little computer desk there. The keyboard's kind of hidden underneath the monitor. It's not the monitor stand. There's no keyboard. I can't tell. But I was like, oh, wow, this is like a little tiny computer. I like how you made the case and a little mouse right there for it. There's a sticker along the wall, like sunset cherry blossom thing going on. And then we come closer to the wall here and there is a cabinet on one side. You know what I like about this cabinet though? If you flip it the other way, this is a Scotty quick moth thing going on right here. Still looks fine like that, right? It looks like it has compartments in there, but because he built it on hinges, you can actually just bend the thing down and look, you've got yourself a little built-in table in the wall. Like, yeah, yo dude, I like that idea. See, it's like a cool little table there now. The figures are finished eating. You push this thing back up and bam. Yeah, nice. Sorry, Tom, man. I just messed with your set. On the opposite side, there is a ladder there. You walk up the ladder and there is the bedroom. Super, super small. I like the look of it. Little nightstand there. And on the opposite side is an air conditioning unit. That's it. So small. Don't forget those holes in front of wires. It's now time for dimension to break out your 32 by 32 because this set is much, much smaller than that. Let's measure this sucker. So if I place it right here, it is around 16 studs by 19. That is kind of odd, isn't it? You know, this actually kind of reminds me of those symbol block, like little mini building stuff, but this one's like on steroids, man, because it's so nice. Nice, it's just smaller than a modular for sure. Break out your one by four bricks, we can check the height. Here is mine. Stack it here to the side. Try to match it with the sunroof. Oh, it's like pretty close to there. Ooh, they just shy of that a little bit taller, but that is around 24 bricks in height. Just maybe 24 and a half. There you go. Perfect, man, perfect. Go get it, get it while you can. Get it right now. Just for fun, let's break out Kata's other fun little sets. This is the Kata tree house. So you can see, oh, look, the tree house is taller than that. And this is the Catabux Coffee House. Together in perfect harmony, the power of three. So when you pull out the tofu shop, I actually might go pretty well with the tofu shop. This might be slightly off. Pull this to the side here. Here's the tofu shop. Right there. Hey, yeah, that looks pretty cool, man. So you get your tofu, have some coffee, go for some steam buns. Yeah. If you're not into cars like me, 
This thing can probably fit like on the plate here. Almost, man. So close. Looks really good like that together. Choose your favorite one. Which one do you like? I like them all. Here, I'll put the treehouse behind it so that, there. This is the official Kata City. Oh, just for fun here, this is one of the older Sembo Blocks dolls. I haven't reviewed these yet. Man, I gotta review this one too. Super, super cute, more plain. Oh, maybe I'll do that next round. I'm, I'm in a Japanese mood. What's interesting is Sembo Block and a couple brands like Juhang, what they're doing is they're finding DIY wood sets and they're kind of mimicking them and making them into bricks. So it's kind of a stolen, yeah, I guess there's no way around it. They're stealing those designs, but they're using it in brick instead of wood pieces. So you know those miniature wood things that you buy online that you do your home own style or you, you have to like paint it and all that kind of stuff. That's what this one is based off, I think. But there you go. They look really good together already. So I'm gonna pull one of these guys out. Let's pull the old man out and we'll put him to the steam bun shop. We'll slide this out of the way. Hello, I'd like to buy some buns. Yeah, it's not that far off. I mean, it's okay. The head's kind of to the counter. I mean, if I sit him down on the stool, the stools are mounted on here, by the way. They have to kind of take them off. Fine. It looks, it looks just fine to me. There he is buying some water. Where's the soda? Where's my coffee? I need some coffee. No. no. I need a bicycle, man. I, I'm sure I have, a, I have a thousand bicycles from somewhere around here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I knew I had a bicycle somewhere around here. This one's from another set. That's a Krispy Kreme. I just wanted to show you guys this really fast. I should review this one too. But apparently it's like one to one to a Lego set. Damn it, guys. Why you got to copy them for it? Yeah, you see? Adding a little bicycle right there. Looks good, right? There he is on the inside. It is kind of hard to get in there. At least he can fit inside there. There he is on the staircase going up to his bedroom. Unfortunately, a stool. He can't really sit down on there because it's like... Yeah, the design thing, right? Oh yeah, there's not enough headroom. How can you set a minifigure in there? Cut his head off. There he is, the old, old man. And, of course, it's time for him to go to sleep. Just like me, man. Time to get out of here and go home and sleep. All right, the video is complete. You know what that means? It's time to drop the sucker. This is going to be pretty simple stuff, man. Sit back, enjoy. Tong, I hope your set survives. my brother well I'll be damned turned out worse than I expected look the whole thing came off there goes to show you structurally there's not much around here to hold this part up so that's why it was like it flew off but it's small enough to put back together easy man you guys don't have to worry about that let me be the one to worry about it so there you guys go caught a steam bun shop get it while you can support AXE Sandbox, he's an amazing designer. I'm looking forward to more sets from you, my man. Keep it going. Maybe one day we'll collaborate. We've been, always been talking about it. We want to make a set, but man, manufacturing a set, you need some money. I don't have money like Kara, man. Anyway, there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all the sets behind me, I will review as fast as I can, okay? All right, time to get out of here. Until next time, you guys, break me out. Oh yeah, the USB light. Oh, what a pain in the ass it is to do the lights, man. So I'm just gonna open the flap here. It's kinda hard to see here. I'm just gonna thread this thing through here. See, it goes like that. Look how messy it is, man. And you still need a power bank to power this thing up. So let's just pretend it's going through all the loops because, oh. You're gonna have to install this as you're building it. I installed it halfway through and I took it out. I'm like, nah, I don't wanna deal with this thing, man. So you come up through, you go through all the little piping here and you go through all the little holes up here. So I'm just gonna shove this thing in here and we're just gonna, we just pretend guys, that's all we can do is pretend I've installed the, night, the lights very nicely. 
This is how we do things around here. Wow. Yeah. Light it up. I mean, it does definitely add more to it. You can have your disco party inside. Eat the bread. Come and eat. Eat the bread. Emergency! Emergency! Bail out of here! It's actually pretty bright. Ray party. Ugh. That's all bonus, man. You guys know how it goes. Just put it in if you want to put it in. Don't put it in if you don't want to put it in. If it were up to me, I would use brick lights that just throw them in and stick them up. You don't have to deal with all of this. That's a lighting kit for you. Like a small little interview thingy. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. Screw it, man. Here, what am I talking about? I have no idea. Tong EXE sandbox, what the hell, man? It's so nice.